Hi Aquarius, welcome to your January 2022 Love and General Reading. Can I believe it's 2022? No, not really. But it just keeps happening, doesn't it? Okay, Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's for cross watchers. It's for you if you've just stopped by and you don't know why you're here. It's probably a message for you, Aquarius. Okay. Oof. Nearly dropped all the cards. Just saw the lovers in the shuffle. What do we need to know for Aquarius? January 2021. Of course, we have Mercury going retrograde on the 14th. Um, never know what to think about that. Sometimes it's good, sometimes not so good. Ooh. But definitely never to be ignored. What a strange reading for you, Aquarius. Okay. We'll have a look at the overall energy cards and then we'll have a look at the cards in the spread with the other camera. I'm just going to stick them together a bit. Most importantly, overall energy card, we've got the Magician. Now, I associate the Magician with Aquarius, okay? This is your card for me. I think you're going to be at a turning point. I mean, the year is a turning point on our calendar, literally, as we move from one year into the next. But I feel like for you, it's there's a lot of action in these cards. There's a lot of story. You know, when you're looking at a spread all together, there's obviously the individual cards and their meaning, but then you kind of, when you look at it overall, you think, what am I looking at? What, what's the picture here? What's the story? There's been some delays with information, maybe with a, it could be a relationship, it could be a career thing. I don't know at the moment, we're gonna dig. Um, for some of you, there's been a big breakup, I think, in 2021. One or two of you, it's 2020, or it's all kind of much of a muchness, like it's both years mixed together somehow. Um, it feels like if there was some kind of big breakup, there was a lot of fallout. And that fallout is, it's, it's like aftershocks is what I'm getting. I'm getting aftershocks for you. For a while, I think you felt like you haven't completely been in control of something, maybe yourself. You know, when we go through um, difficult times for whatever reason, whether it's losing a job, losing a person, um, you know, losing a home, losing whatever, you know, it doesn't even have to be as significant as that. It takes time for the shock of it, for the kind of assimilation of it to let it all soak in and then at the end of that to rebuild and for some of you it may even go back as far as 2018 sorry my contact lenses are really bothering me today um when we had the eclipses in aquarius because there were big big life changes for a lot of aquarians around that time what the universe wants to do for you is we come in, um, we come in, in with a new moon in Capricorn on the second. The universe wants to give you a new set of cards, if you want to use the card metaphor. It wants to give you insight, stability, but also with that magician card, agency, so that you can create your own future the way that you want it not the way that it has been kind of forced on you, is what I'm getting here. Let's have a look at the cards. So we'll do a little bit of jiggery pokery and we can pick them up so we can, because I did quite a lot of cards for you because I was intrigued to know what was going on. 
so we can kind of dig in and pick them up and have a look. I'll zoom out a little bit or in even. There we go, that's better because that gives you more, doesn't it? Okay. Where to begin? Can you see, if you look at this, how much literal action that there is? There are people kind of looking like they're digging, people looking like they're staking territory, other people look like they're about to cut something off and this person's about to go and give flight to a message and everybody's, that person is juggling, everybody is... And if you look here, we've got the devil card and we've got the chariot card and we've got these two pairs kind of wanting to go in different directions. But the sphinxes are chained to the chariot and the people are chained to the devil. There is a desire for you or there has been a desire to break free of the drama of something. This is drama that I'm seeing here and take flight in a certain direction and that direction doesn't seem to have been open to you before, okay? If this resonates, by the way, Aquarius, when you get to the end of the reading, there will be an extended reading as normal and the link will be in the description box, okay? And we will have a look at the other side of the story. If it's a love connection, we look at how they feel about you, um, pull different cards, different decks, love oracle cards, all that kind of thing. Now, okay. Even if we look at this card, this kind of personifies the whole thing. These people are play fighting. Can I get that to actually focus? These people are, sorry about that, play fighting. There we go, beautifully in focus camera, thank you. Um, there's too many people, there's too many sticks, there's too many points of view, and I feel like none of them are yours. This could be rumour, gossip, tittle-tattle, people talking. It can be, if this is a work situation, the structure of work, colleagues, people, the water fountain, the photocopier, the team, Microsoft Teams, whatever you want to call it. You know, work has taken on a very different uh, hue, hasn't it, over the last couple of years. That can even be like online meetings, ugh, all the etiquette that goes with that but it feels like people are fighting around you. Maybe not even directly with you. For some of you as well, in the background of this, there's been some oppression. If we look at this Three of Swords, this is some old heartbreak, it's some old wounds, it's some old stuff. It could be family stuff. It could be stuff going back to three years old, three years ago. When you get the Three of Swords, there is a, an amount of stuff that has been stuck, that you haven't been able to resolve, that has been coming back to you in different faces, different people, different places and situations. And you're asking yourself, oh, not this again. Why this again? Why do I keep meeting the same kinds of people? Why am I coming up against the same kinds of things? And more importantly, how can I get out of it and how can I avoid it? Okay, now the universe gives you the page of swords up here, which we really like for Aquarians, that really works for you, with the knight, and that works even better because what starts off as just an idea or a thought takes flight. Information is coming into you in January. This could be a letter, an email, a phone call, um, it may be to do with your personal life. I think for a lot of you it is. For some of you, because we have the delightful Mercury going retrograde, and I'm not an astrologer, but I have a hunch. I read somewhere it's going retrograde in your sign. I think it's a retrograde in Capricorn, then in Aquarius. So it will be, you know, have a Google and find out. It will be powerful for you. For some of you, this is hearing from someone who was lost to you, okay, in the past. They were lost to you for whatever reason. Now up here we have the Eight of Wands. Information, momentum, hearing from somebody, for me it's quite often digital, <clears throat> as most things are. Emails, again, feature quite heavily. You may have been having or had quite heavy email contact with somebody 
who you then didn't have so much email contact with, or if you were online dating, this might have been the messaging section, you know, where there's a lot of long messaging with somebody and then nothing for a while. And if you look at this, we've got the person in the middle, the five of cups, grieving what was lost with the three of cups in the background. And then there are two cups in the background that they can't see, okay? <clears throat> I'm just gonna have some water. There was something I think that was lost to you that then with the Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords accelerates towards you. This could be news of an ex. It could be an ex for some of you, I'm afraid. I don't know if that's good or bad. That could be good, it could be bad, I don't know. For others of you, it's knowledge. There's something you really needed to know. There was a missing piece in a puzzle, maybe two missing pieces, and they come in, big style, quick. A lot of this I feel, because the sun moves into Aquarius about 21st, is it, of January? Something like that. Never quite know my dates. Let's have a look in here. That's why I have a moon diary. 20th, okay, that'll do. Sun moves into your sign on the 20th. The universe has set up a lot of action, okay? So you're gonna hear from something or somebody that's very powerful and strong. It's gonna give you mixed feelings of sadness, excitement, um, elation, knowledge, and also a bit of confusion. It's gonna come in, first of all, slowly, then fast. And I feel like what happens is, something comes into you, the knowledge, you get the knowledge or the message, or you hear from somebody, and then Mercury goes retrograde. And what would have been, if it hadn't gone retrograde, quite a straightforward trajectory from hearing from someone to what happens next, it goes a bit strange, because that's what Mercury retrograde does, okay? And we're back to this kind of tangledness. Now, what you also have, if you notice here, you've got the High Priestess and the Magician. It's the masculine and feminine elements of intuition. That's good. So listen to your dreams, listen to your weird Aquarian hunches, and you know what that means for an Aquarius. Don't dismiss them. Yes, they're gonna be a little bit weird. Yes, it could come to you in a smell, in a song, in a memory, in a dream, whatever. Even if you are walking down the street, if we even do walk down the street anymore, um, and you think you see somebody, but it isn't them, note it, okay? Because there's such a lot of esoteric stuff going on in the background here. Then you can use that information along with the um, information you have coming in from someone else and put it together like a magician. I know this is slightly weird, but it is slightly weird. That's a tautology. Um, as a reader, quite often when you get a reading, what you want to do, especially a reading like this, is make sense of it and go, well, this is that and that's that and here's a timeline. That's not how your year's going to kick off and I'd be lying to you if I said it was. It isn't. It's confusing. It's conflicting. We have the devil card here. You could be in quite a lot of conflict about a relationship or a job. Either way, there is some element or there has been an element of something being a bit toxic or being a bit difficult, okay? Over here, we got two twos, two of pentacles and the two of wands. Two of pentacles, someone's juggling, they're thinking, they're like, can I do it like this? Can I do it like that? Can we make it work? Can I commute to this? Can you live with me? Can we do this? It's all those kinds of um, juggling, repositioning, how about if we did it like this? And then this one with the two of wands has the merchant standing on the edge of a horizon. And this could indicate a long distance becoming shorter. So if you had a long distance relationship, there's a chance that that could become shorter. It's the feeling of 
making something, oh, what is the word that I'm looking for? You're standing on the precipice here and you're becoming a lateral thinker. You're thinking of ways of solving this that you would never have thought of before. And some of them could be quite global. You know, they've got, it's got international kind of qualities to it. So this could be somebody who's from somewhere quite different to you or something where you've been on holiday or something where they're online but you haven't met yet. It just feels like there's a lot of borders, that it involves countries almost, that it involves something international. That might just be for a few of you, but it's really important. And also for you, if you're looking at jobs and work and career in particular, don't stick to your own locale, okay? Push it out there, right out there, okay? Underneath, we've got the three of wands. This is something that can grow. It's either a relationship that can then grow or a career that can then grow, but it grows kind of out of the freedom and the, the broadening and the widening of it, if that makes sense. Down here we have the chariot. You may be dealing with a Cancerian, but more likely it's about wanting to go in two different directions at the same time and riding out the conflict, which is what the charioteer, charioteer does. You are gonna feel conflicted about this in January because January is not the full story for you. It's just kind of like someone's poking you and it's the introduction of it. There is something that goes back to the past with it and that's why I feel that for some of you it's like a renewal of a relationship or a job that you've kind of been offered before or had before or known before. I'm getting the um, hunch of, I know you, I know you, I don't, I know you, that whole thing of walking down the street and oh, I thought I saw you, you know, it has meaning, it's important. And the seven of wands here is about getting stuck in. You're getting stuck into the old wounds. So for some of you, it may be with this cluster with the devil and the three of swords, you're reopening something, but with a lot more success than you had last time, okay? Let's have some Romance Angel Oracle cards, cool. In the extended reading, I'm gonna look at that Devil card, but I'm gonna look at relationship, I'm gonna look at how they feel about you, and that's if they're an ex or a current, you know? I think it's all almost the same thing. I don't know why, but I do. Romance Angel Oracle Cards. Hmm. Exciting. Yeah, I knew you'd get that one. I was shuffling and I saw that one. Okay, let's deal with that one first. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. That old thing. So you have, of course, the devil card. When you have the devil card, you ask yourself, what are you chained to? You have to. Um, over here also, you had the Knight of Pentacles, which is telling you that this is a slow process, okay? But that devil card, which is smack bang on top of the Three of Swords, just says there are some old wounds that are playing out in relationship and career that the universe would like you to give your attention to. And that's the polite way. There's no tower, it's not forcing the issue yet. But what you tend to find is if you don't attend to it on a kind of small level, the universe then says, okay, I'm gonna make sure you're really aware of it. Boom, here it is. We're not at that point yet because the universe trusts that you're gonna kind of take care of your emotional business, but some of it, goes back to healing family issues. Doesn't it always? Ain't it always the way, okay? Just for one or two of you, are you dating someone, it's so old fashioned this, that reminds you of your father in some ways? I know, that's just something that's just come into me. And yet then we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Which is really annoying if it's got that kind of complexity to it but I think it's important this is 
there's already been a lot of drama with this situation and there's a lot more drama to come but you want to make sure you're on the right side of the drama to make sure that you are the magician and that you're making things happen rather than having things just happen to you as a passive recipient okay then we have romantic feelings and there's going to be plenty of those okay your feelings are real and worth exploring yeah they are and they're sometimes going to be a bit ugly i think but those ugly feelings are sometimes really where it's at Aquarians are emotionally brave. You can do the ugly feelings. Your oracle card is a change in the wind and there is, there is a change, a coming. Um, and I like it. I like the change for you, but it's been coming for such a long time. It's been coming for, I'm just looking because there's a crow just landed over there. Um, it's been coming since 2018 for some of you, even if the situation only bubbled up recently. It's been coming since 2018 because it's been in your head. It's been in your life. It's been in your experience, okay? Cool, this is a complicated reading, Aquarius. I'm gonna go and do your extended reading and I'm gonna have a good old dig around with a different tarot pack, some love oracle cards and some shadow cards and some all sorts. So the link is below in the description box and do subscribe to the channel if you want pop-up videos We've got the monthly videos like this, the daily videos, and then we have pop-up love readings and just all sorts, really. Just, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think and I can't think. So I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius, and I'll see you soon. Namaste.